Saturday is showtime in Indian Wells. Finals day, Dominic Team up against Roger Federer. Südstadt, it's uh, my birthplace tennis-wise, I would say. I'm practicing here since 18, 17, 18 years, so such a long time. And that didn't really change since then. Everything, <laughs> everything is still the same. And yeah, it's, it's great facilities. I think it's nice. I mean, I, I know everything. Also, everybody knows me since the very beginning. So even now that I'm... Uh, on the ATP tour, everybody's still treating me the same. That's very nice. I can basically act however I want here because, yeah, everybody knows me since a very young age, and uh, that's also very important. And uh, it feels safe somehow whenever I come back home. I come to this place to practice and to to spend almost the whole day. For my dad, it's nice because he's working a lot and still he he sees his kids. I mean. When, when we were young, I think it was even more important because yeah, many dads, unfortunately, work also that much and don't see their kids a lot. So we had this luck that we were basically all together here in that place. I think for players and for fans, it's really paradise. Amazing to be a fan here and also a player. When I'm done with my career, I will come back as a fan one day. The key moment was before Indian Wells. We were searching for a touring coach and he was, he was in Austria for, for the Davis Cup. And then we said we try it out in Buenos Aires and also Rio. And it worked out well. I liked how the practice goes and everything. I was there in Salzburg, so we started to speak. And then they invited me to go to Buenos Aires for the ATP. So I live so close to Buenos Aires. I live in Santiago, so one hour flight. So I arrived there to know all the team and it uh, was an amazing moment. Did all the preparation before Indian Wells with him. Came there 14 days before the tournament start. He was not in his best uh, physical moment two and a half weeks before. He's done it, and the top seed team is out. We were hoping that arrive close to 80, 90% to Indian Wells. I cannot expect the Masters because it's, it's so tough to win one, you have to beat like five or six really good players. I didn't expect it, but I didn't expect it at all in, to happen in Indian Wells because of my bad start of the season. He started his coaching career a little bit earlier than I started my my playing career when I was really young, so he also developed great as a coach and uh, we developed together somehow. From time to time in between the tournaments we always practice together and now it's, it's the same. Both of them have such a big impact because um, Long before I even had the intention to, to become a tennis player, my father started to work for Gunther. I was practicing with my dad and then somehow uh, Gunther overtook me. And at the, at the beginning it was like half-half and then more and more Gunther. And then when I was 11 or 12, he completely overtook me. With Dominic, I saw early that he has this, this uh, passion, this unconditional love for the game. And uh, I thought also he has the physical abilities. And of course, in between, always I, we, we shared somehow these two coaches who have the main impact on my career. That's well done, Ben. And then it's the old team's team. Yes, Masu is pleased. The well, tournament was so fast, so amazing because he was coming from a difficult start of the year. 
and he played his best tennis in India Wells on hard court, and the results come so fast. Games and match. A dream team performance as he topples Karlovich in under an hour. Brownage up against team. Yeah, sometimes the things they come unexpected and uh, I played better and better from, from every round on. What a moment for Dominic Team. The Austrian can celebrate and he moves into his very first Indian Wells final. Final gonna be great. Trying everything to, to play a good match. Good luck in the final tomorrow. Thanks. We do a lot of uh, footwork so that I get faster and that I move uh, more accurate on the court because that's something I, I can really improve. And then, of course, also stability, core, that's very important for, for every player. A lot of work goes in, yes, but most of the people, they, they have a job and they are in the office or anywhere else from I don't know, from 8 to 5 or something, and I'm here from, let's say, 10 to 6 or something, so it's, it's a normal job and it's a lot of effort. But it's a great honor to do this job and to travel all around the world, and if the results are fine, uh, everything pays off. He definitely wants to give it all he has. I like his playing style, you know, one-handed backhand. There's a lot of power, spins and slices and kicks and all that stuff, and I think it serves him well here in the desert. It's always something special to play him and also something special to compete in a Masters 1000 finals. It's, it's only my third one. I arrived not in a good shape, neither physically nor tennis-wise, nothing. It's amazing that, that I came this far and hopefully it's not the end. Sensational showtime from both men. And I think that's a smile on the face of Dominic Team. It's another successful half hour or so for Roger Federer and his army of supporters around the world. Oh, yes. It's another bazooka. There it is. It's a good set for Dominic Team. Oh, he's nudged it around the corner. How's he done that? Great match, for sure, one of my best ever. It's not so easy to arrive like with some uh, physical problems and then like in 15 days or 20 days win a Master Series on hard court to beat uh, Roger Federer, the best player for the history of tennis in the final. So everything was amazing. It was a big, big highlight and maybe the, the best tournament of my career so far. And I'm really happy that I have this 1000 title now. Big one, and uh, nobody can can take it from me. Team. I love to come back home, of course, and I enjoy the life at home as well. But after some days or one week, I start to look forward again to the tournaments and to the life on tour. Um, 
because it's different than the life at home and uh, we we all ha have the honor, honor that we have this life until I don't know 35 or something Roger has it longer <laughs> from Austria Dominic team it's always an amazing experience the tournament is it's the ATP finals and it's it's so special how we get treated there and and the place there and I mean every session is it's amazing oh that is wonderful tennis from Dominic team it's it's really tough to to play well there and to to beat the guys but it's it's always a big goal for me since I was there the first time to qualify again because it's such a highlight and uh, that's what I'm hoping for again this year. Firstly, I mean, it's, it's nice to be back on clay, to get used to the footwork and to, to all the shots on clay. And then, of course, I did a lot of good stuff in Indian Wells and tried to keep that momentum going. I'm, I'm playing well right now, so I just try my best to make this transition from the hardcore to the clay. We're enjoying to work together, so we are looking forward to do good clay court season and uh, we are prepared for that. I have expectations and I, I love the clay. To prepare well I need to be fit in great shape tennis-wise, but also I know that I come there and I play well and uh, I did it three years in a row now, so I hope it's, it's going to be the same this year. Dominic is one of these players that uh, is dangerous for everybody. He's one of the candidates to win all the all the matches that uh, that he's playing. It's a stunning victory for Dominic Team. A victory that will rock tennis. Rafael Nadal is defeated by Dominic Team. He's still the player to beat, that's for sure. I have a plan, of course, and I think everybody knows that he's the best guy on clay. So if you want to win a big title there, you have to beat him at one point, that's for sure. Dominic T produces an absolute masterclass. A first defeat of the season on the dirt for Rafael Nadal. Dominic he has the talent, especially after winning in, in Indian Wells. It's going to be an interesting play course season. He beat a few times in Alain on clay, so I think that he gives a lot of confidence in that for the future. For a fourth year in a row, Dominic team takes down the king of clay on the dirt. Very proud of all the players I beat. I mean, I was beating five top guys, and it was really good feeling. Dominic team lives the dream in Barcelona. Every tournament victory gives a lot of confidence, but especially this one, it's, it's my biggest clay court title so far. Team is firmly in the big time. We, we need to enjoy it and it's a great honor to have this lifestyle and I think we should live it to the fullest.